not all dementias are Alzheimer's disease. One of the more common other causes of dementia is Lewy body dementia. It is the cause of about one in five persons with dementia. It is characterized pathologically by having Lewy bodies in the brain, a combination of alpha-synuclein and ubiquitin. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Bear. I understand that Mr. Bear has had memory problems and is also having some unusual behaviors. I'm going to ask you a number of questions to screen for a specific type of dementia called Lewy body dementia. These questions were developed at St. Louis University. Mrs. Bear, how long has your husband had this expressionless look on his face? Oh, you noticed? About two or three years. Does Mr. Bear shout out at night? Yes, often in his dreams. Does he often become restless and kick out or move his arms around while asleep? He did that twice last week. Mr. Bear, are you tired during the day? Yes, very tired. I fall asleep all the time. Does Mr. Bear see things that are not there? He is always telling me that there is some stranger in the house. Does Mr. Bear ever get inappropriately angry or talk inappropriately about sexual matters? Yes. No, I don't. Is Mr. Bear not interested in most things? No. Does Mr. Bear have more problems with his memory sometimes during the day than others? Oh yes, he fluctuates all the time. Does Mr. Bear ever have saliva drooling out of his mouth? Yes, doctor, that's really a pain in the neck. Mr. Bear, have you fallen or felt dizzy or fainted? He falls almost every other day. I'm often dizzy and I think I'm going to faint. Mr. Bear has shown many of the symptoms of Lewy body dementia. I will send him to have a dopamine transporter SPECT scan, which I suspect will show a low basal ganglia uptake of dopamine. Based on this, Mr. Bear has Lewy body dementia. Lewy body dementia is a common cause of behavioral disturbances in older persons. It progresses more rapidly than Alzheimer's disease. Persons with Lewy body dementia have increased sensitivity to anti-dopaminergic drugs, making it important that they avoid many antipsychotic drugs. Also, care needs to be taken with the use of antihistamines, anticholinergic, and benzodiazepine drugs.